If you don't know, I'm into sauce. I love sauce. I, I thumped through the GQ magazine monthly. And I'm a third generation salsa. One of my, my top five things to play is like professional merch. You know what I'm saying? So two weeks ago, I bought a Chief Wahoo hat. I'm like, before the Indians change their name and before them things really, really be out of circulation. Because you can't get them on MLB Shop. You can't get them on Lids. But I knew I could give me a, a Wahoo hat. I got me one. And with this, this just brings me to my next point. Man, I got home. I was sitting on the hat for about like a, six days. So I put it on in the mirror. I'm like, man, this shit is wicked. All the stereotypes of a Native American. For one, it's called the Indian's hat. Two, the big nose. The bright red skin. I'm like, man, this is just down bad, and it got me thinking, bruh. I'm like, man, it ain't such a bad thing that they about to change the Redskins' name and that uh, the Indians' name is probably going to be no longer the Indians sooner and later. I proceeded to return the hat, bruh, and I'm just like, damn, bruh, I'm almost like the exact people I got beef with, man. Just thinking it was all sweet for me just to buy this hat and play that, man. I say, whoa, welcome to the Best Friend Week. Getting podcast. It's your man Aldo. Nice. It's your boy Raj Move. Ah, oh, your boy Los, aka CAP. Hey man, Rumble, Rumble. Hey. You was wrong. You part of the problem, Rumble. Yeah, you you you, you have to be the change you want to see in other people, man. You got to be that change as well. Uh, I think this episode we're gonna talk about a lot. We're gonna we're gonna touch on a lot of racial things that go beyond black white. And this is our first beyond black white, um, which is Indian. <laughs> and mm. how them people feel. <laughs> now, I know I said it a couple of weeks ago, like, you know, when we talk about Best Friend Weekend being on the cusp of the culture, we're going to talk about a lot of stories. Like, I'm just going to throw it out there right now. Uh, we're going to probably hit on Nick Cannon later with the anti-Semitic things. Yeah. Last week on the podcast, I said, I talked about how Jewish people and um, and the struggle and how they try mm. to, it's like the same kind of thing as black people. We talked about on the podcast a while ago, like about three weeks ago, about how the, um, they, the Redskins needed to change their name. So these things come into fruition, and it's a it's yeah. an interesting thing. And I'm, we're gonna talk about a lot of these stories. I think it was overdue. I think it was time for that. Uh, but yeah. I think Rumble on on a sauce factor, going by that hat before it was about to be discontinued. That man was on to something. I don't know if I bring that he, hat no, back. No. He was That's right on point. <laughs> That's a classic. I think I, I think it's way. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I actually asked somebody. I'm not gonna say how I feel about it, but I, I I asked someone, "What you think is worse, the Redskins or the Indians? Like, which name is worse?" You asked a uh, Native American person. No, oh. of course not. I oh, asked, well, I don't know. Uh, um, I was about to say a regular person, a red blooded white I asked, person. <laughs> yeah, that's a white person. Which one you think is worse? And what was their response? So I'm asking y'all. What not? They, they said the person that I asked said that Redskin was. Yeah, was worse. from what everybody says, mm-hmm. a Redskin is like a derogatory yeah. name for like maybe a name made by the settlers for the Indians, like Indians. Yeah, yeah like oh, for the Native Americans. Yeah, sure. No, 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 no. They were talking about the people from India. <laughs> like that is this is not true. <laughs> this is this is funny. Actually, actually, uh, was just thinking about like you know, I right, so you know, the boys pulled up in the Mayflower, and uh, and it was like, oh, they got some, right, they, I see they already got some boys here. It look like them boys from Indy. You know, like that's I feel like that's what they said. Nah, they they gonna, they're like, ooh, Indy. them boys got red skin. I don't, I don't get the I, wait, that, And that happened too. Them boys got red skin. They from India. Okay, <laughs> hey, hey, so uh, King. They got some boys that's already here. They from India, I think. But we gonna go. T- we gonna go holler at them. Hey, where y'all from? We from here. No, but like where y'all from? I'm saying we from here. We we na- like we're natives. I don't even think they said they no, from boy. India. They were just like, oh, somebody here already. We gotta take this shit. This this so, place is nice. The story I heard in no, elementary man. school was that them boys <laughs> went across the Atlantic thinking that they was about yeah. to end up in India in the West Indies, and they was like, oh, this must really? be India. No, literally, they knew India was a place because it's right, you know what I'm saying, southeast 
of um, Europe. So they knew India was a place. They thought the world was smaller. So when they like yeah. went on their boats, yeah. they was like, oh, this is India. And it was really America. So they was so like, they oh, that must be them Indians. So they, yeah. so they went west. They went west, yeah. right? That's, uh-huh. that's, am I right? And, and, and thought that they circled the world and went Absolutely. And back to India? That is what that's they crazy. thought. That I is what they know thought. That. That, is, that is the elementary story that I've always heard of why they call them Indians. Now, I probably some, heard I just do not remember that. That's some that, clowns. That, that, some old clowns. Because <laughs> <laughs> they thought the world was small? <laughs> they Damn, they didn't know. <laughs> no, it was nobody to tell you world? that the world wasn't that big. It, you, nobody could have ever known that. That's funny. That is funny. Raj, you would have thought that the world was small too. Stop it. Yeah, if you haven't been anywhere, you definitely would. But I'm saying, Raj, you ain't been nowhere, Raj. You wouldn't know. I'm saying, I feel like I would have been one of them boys. I would have had me a little, like, whatever the equivalent of a podcast was. Why them boys figure they could go left to get to India when India is right? Because them boys was trying to circumnavigate the globe, cut. They thought. They, 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 they thought it was around the corner. They ain't know it was completely down the street. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the boys, if them boys thought they was getting to India that way and was like, oh, we had India, them boys was like legit not even halfway through the trip. That would have That's, like, that's no. like if I turn, if I, look, Earl Doe, if, if I turn out of my house, left, <laughs> and I say, and I keep going, I say, okay, this must be Lauraville. <laughs> like that yeah. don't make no sense. No, if 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 you never Lord if you Lord never Lord left right. your house if you never left your house before and everything you see on the map is saying Lorville to the right to the left, you, <laughs> it don't have you no just, it don't have no miles. How low? So just say Lorville yeah, that way. It just I'm say Lorville. Sure you can get to Lorville if you just just man, make a left. It's the same equivalent like your daddy. Like you go in the car and you're like, man, I know how to get to man, I know how to get to um to New Orleans from New Iberia. We just hop on I ten and we go straight down I ten. We going west. And we're going to end yeah. up in, in New Orleans in two hours yeah. and 30 minutes. But then your daddy yeah. say, oh, no, boy. But if you go south so, <laughs> on 90, hit, on 90, 90. you're going to hit Lafayette. I mean, you're going to hit New Orleans in two hours. Bastard. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to be like, cutting, you know? And if the sign didn't say two hours to New Orleans, if it just said New Orleans that way. <laughs> yeah, this way. With the arrow. Left. You'd have to trust somebody, dog. Yeah. <laughs> That is hilarious. Right. No, that's what that's what they did, man. I don't know, man. Boys, I need to know more of the story. That's all. I go. I, hey, I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. that's the type of thing they tell in the history books. So I'm sure right. you can find that story. <laughs> they don't want to talk about the slave trade, but there's probably a no. whole chapter on why we named the Indians that when we had our friendly encounters on the first Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's right. And they passed their peace pipe around. It was such a it was such a great union between the pilgrims and the Indians. That's what they want you to read. Uh, and then we woke up and killed everybody. And fish. I remember. I remember specifically they put a piece of fish in the ground. I, I just feel like I remember that from my history book. To grow a piece, to grow a fish tree or something. A fig tree, I think. It might have been. It might have been a fish. It was tree. A banana, a vagina, a vagina tree. Okay, Los. What, what are we? What are we doing? What is? What is that? What is that? <laughs> you stupid dog. I miss the old when you rules. when you bury a fish. <laughs> no, Los. I don't know. I'm not doing. I think so. My um, my cousin. He used to play for the Redskins, and I know for a fact, my daddy got a starter jacket. That's like from when that man was on the skins, like. Starter like not the not the hoodie daddy like the old school starter the button Letterman like starters, um, oh with the red skin lo- with the red skin logo on the on the breastplate. But, oh, you got to get that. It's not. Me, we got we got about fifteen years before we could rock that. Well, about a good ten years before you could rock that, and it'd be something way different. Today you can't rock that red. Skin I don't. I, I think I honestly, per, like when you when you talk about sauce, you're trying to be sauce forward. I think you can rock it huh. right now. Like from my, you're talking about our same theory of like the Josh Freeman jersey. As soon as Josh Freeman lead, like yes. so, like RG three yes. type stuff. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what happened to me. So, and I didn't know how to take this. There was this gentleman that came to my place of uh, of business, and he had on a shirt that said Caucasian. Oh, I've seen that shirt around. Like it was okay. So, I, but I didn't know how to take somebody wearing that shirt because I was like, is he being like? pearl white or is he being like 
facetious. Is he saying like, oh, the Redskins named this? Like, I think that that's wrong. So I'm going to just put on this Caucasian shirt and be funny. Like, and legitimately try to be funny. I didn't know how to take it. You, it the shirt didn't have no context to it. Mm. It just said Caucasians. So all I'm saying is, is for me, if I want to go out in my Redskins jersey, which I do have an RG three Redskins jersey. Just thought about it. Looking at it right now. You got it when it was. Um, you got it when it was old for the cheap, or you got it when it was new for like the expensive. Hmm. I got it when, of course, when it was old. Okay. I got it when it was old. I'm not gonna spend a hundred dollars on RG three. So, but it was like so, one of them. It was one of them daddies, like a like a Nike daddy, like that ready to go. Is the the dark one or the um? No, it's the white one. Okay. Just asking because I like RG three jerseys. I was looking for it when I was in Virginia. Couldn't find it. Yep. Hmm. So I got that, and all I'm all I'm saying is, is I would rock red skin stuff to be facetious, to be like I'm making fun of the I'm making fun of Dan Snyder for wearing his jersey. So let me ask not you. embracing the name and, and, until until a, until a real red skin come knock your ass come out. fucking scalp you because <laughs> you being well, facetious. I'm not gonna wear it on the reserve. <laughs> you don't got to. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to wear it. Not while you're gambling, huh? It's so funny. <laughs> 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 come on, you scalp you. You're going to be so mad. Oh, oh, and you can't wear it on Thanksgiving either. You've been putting all them chemicals in your head just for them old red skins to come scalp you. <laughs> I wear it at the Corn Cob Festival. Give you a whole new scalp. Now you had growing. You can't stop it from growing. <laughs> <laughs> now, Raj, now how you feel if um, this white boy walked up into your place of business with that... MAGA hat neck of Confederate flag shirt and said, I'm just wearing it to be facetious. <laughs> yeah, just being facetious. I mean, if he, so, yeah, that's 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 not necessarily the same thing. But if he had a Negro League jersey on or mm. something like that, I'd be like, I he with the shits. <laughs> that's so different. That's so different. That is completely on the other so side. So on of it. the other it's side not, of it. It's not the same. That is not what y'all your example is not the same thing. My Somebody example is that okay, so they are stopping no, people not. from wearing redskin stuff because it's derogatory towards Native Americans. They are stopping people yes. from having the Confederate flag because it's derogatory They're towards African Americans. The entire name of I, the team. Yes, I'm. <laughs> I think that there are parallels between the two. Be, but I get your point. It's not a. It's not a team. But let me put it like this: like if dude walked in with like a, a old Miss. Like a 1984 old Miss shirt with a big Confederate flag on it, so that and, might and be a little bit closer mega head. to like kind of what you say. <laughs> no, don't forget the if mega a, head. Forget the mega head. If a, would it be swag? Would I you think, think it's like black, swag? If a, if a black dude did that, okay, I got you. Because I mean, black people could get away with doing almost anything, except for talking about. Uh, you gotta be from Mississippi. <laughs> except for talking about certain class, certain types of people. Man, look, let me tell y'all some things that burn. My Buddha this week. Man, the first thing that burns my Buddha this week is um, in different cities and um, across the, the the United States, the Black Lives Matter has been painted like in downtowns. I saw it in Austin. I saw it in D.C. There's a bunch of other cities. The defacing of the Black Lives Matter street paintings is burning the shit out of my Buddha. Hey, Pete, nobody wants to ride down the street over a message. So, <laughs> see less. <laughs> They don't like them. They don't want to ride down that street over there and miss it. And you know what? If you're racist and you work on that street, that makes it so funny to me. Like, <laughs> you have to literally see that every single day of your life. They out there <laughs> painting over it with like paint yeah. in the yeah. middle of the day and, and, and like, and daring people to stop them. Yeah. Like, why does trigger them so much is my question. I don't know. They don't want to see that message, man. They They take it personally. Like, no. My life, man, all my lives matter. All white lives matter. No, they don't want to see that. They don't. Them people don't believe black lives matter that much. They don't think that they matter that much to be painting. They ain't, you know, ain't put the white lives matter on the street. We've been mattering for forever since we murked the Indians. We ain't had a, they ain't had no white lives matter. So why y'all get a, why y'all get paint on our, on the street and we better than y'all? Tripping. Get this shit off of here. <laughs> Come on now. It's a lot of energy, man, and it's a lot of that energy that's. Like we and we, we keep we talked about it weeks ago. I hate that I put this in the world, but it's like in the in, that it, it's the energy that's bubbling up to the surface of so people. Like, yeah, man, so what, man? I don't care about it. I mean, I, I get it. You you had it tough, but I'm tired of hearing that shit. Like, yeah. it's a, it's a bunch of energy, right? Like that in these streets now, man. I think. I mean, 
I think that we put not a lot of we put in a lot of energy, rightfully so, to put that on the streets, to put that out to the masses, mm-hmm. to just let them know how we feel. And also, I think it's I think it's I mean, this is this is this is like a dumb statement because it's it's the obvious statement. But like, if you don't want to say nothing, don't say nothing. But the fact that you're putting out an equal amount of energy to fight against it is just ridiculous. Gotcha. Like it makes no sense, and I can't wrap my head around. It, hmm. You know, like if you the- just want to be quiet. And you don't, and you want to live your life and go vote whatever, for Trump on the you know? quiet and shit like that's fine. Just whatever. just be quiet. Oh. Do your thing. But yeah. why do you have to deface <laughs> our movement? Like for what? Because they feel like we defacing the Confederate statues and mm-hmm. shit. Like I, I, it's crazy, but I think that's what it is. Like the the funny part to me that all that shit was a white person's idea. <laughs> no black man thought to buy enough paint to paint it and have it straight, have it go straight across. The letters ain't up and down. He, you know, he ain't replace it with, you know what I'm saying, the S with a dollar sign. Well, we know, you know it. What I mean, the, like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was about to say, we we know uh, it wasn't a Mexican Lives Matter sign because that would have been in old English. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been brown Lives Matter would be in old English. But no, <laughs> that boy said black people would have had the dollar sign. <laughs> I don't know if y'all understand listening to this podcast right now how funny that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And it was like it was straight. If you if you look at all of them, somebody really took their time and made it where every every letter was equal. Like, come on now. Man, well, a lot of us ain't taking our time so, like that. So like, the street real quick. Lows. So like some of them little um <laughs> gangbangers would have been like black with the two C's because they're not putting C yeah. K. <laughs> And then the Crips would have been like, clack lives matter. Yeah. <laughs> in blue. It's blue. blue. It's blue. Clack lives matter. No, they would have painted in bandana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Spray painted down. <laughs> if oh. they was young, they would have abbreviated everything. Oh, Ain't my God. White person, um... <laughs> Those white people, we appreciate you too, white folk. But I'm just saying, it's funny how they, uh, how white people get mad at some white people had the idea to do. Like that's funny. Hey man, let me tell y'all another thing uh, <laughs> that burns my boot at this week. It's um, it's extended Instagram happy birthday post, and I did it. <laughs> you stupid. And I did it. Hey, I'm taking appreciate myself. That, my I'm taking myself Good to the red that. table right now. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. <laughs> the red tape. I appreciate it. Hey, that. man. I, somebody like, okay, shout out. This podcast brought to you by Harley Davidson. He the first one who inboxed me and was like, hey, bro, I thought that would have burned your Buddha. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, it does. I don't know why I did it. I think it's COVID season. I think it's being in the house. I woke up early. I was like, let me send my dog a happy birthday. Yeah. But you know why it burns my Buddha? Because the person who's writing it is always trying to make it about them. Like, Raj called me that day and was like, oh, yeah, you was in every picture that you posted. I was like, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> this is an old to night looking owl, good looking owl pictures. <laughs> With Los in them, too. <laughs> when Los just happened to be there. <laughs> you know what it seems? It seems that with you and the internet, what tends to burn your boot in is what everybody else is doing. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with hopping on the wave. Yeah. And I think that it's a cool wave to to show you show your partner some love on his birthday. Because I did it too. Yeah. And I only did it because you did it because I thought it was funny that you did it. Because <laughs> uh, it is very unusual. That I would have did something like that. <laughs> but when you do things like that, it makes me want to do it. It's like, I wish you Al did it. So... <laughs> You know, <laughs> yes, the boudin is not quite burnt, so I'll do it as well. Uh, I know, but I would appreciate that energy on my birthday, right? So I felt like Los yeah, would have appreciated that energy, you know? Yeah. That was I, I think I, I I think you know, there was one day there was one 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 of my birthdays where like my my dad like hustled to be the first person to tell me happy birthday. Like I mean was like sitting by the phone and yeah. was like I wanted to be the first person and that meant a lot to me. Mm. You know, and I think when you do things for people's birthdays or whatever it is, graduation, anything like that, that um, like you you show some effort because it's like, the stuff you don't it, expect. It, it takes yeah, effort like to that. post. Yeah, it took effort for me to post that picture of Los. Uh, <laughs> that boy that he zoomed. took that glamour that shot Los of Malone. Los with them glasses. 
Carlos Malone. Carlos <laughs> Malone. Um, it took <clears throat> it took effort, and and I would definitely appreciate it yeah. if it was the other way around. I definitely appreciate it. That it's like it was a Sunday awesome. morning. You wake up on Sunday morning, you got time. So I just was like, yeah. all right. I was about to post one picture, and I was like, oh, I like this picture, too. I was like, oh, I could do one of those little story things that people be doing. Tell a whole <laughs> little story. So, uh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. so. And then you got to stay upstate. Oh, I was, was well, I was, I was told that. That was uh, so weird. Yeah, that was a weird flex. Um, That's my dog still, but I, I, I mean, yeah, when you want to be a part of some stuff, I'm not even going to say that. But, no, I, I got a couple of people who told me this. Um, you and Carlos are in a relationship. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I said, said, I said, said like some. Uh, you ain't wrong. You're word. right. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> That's my nigga, man. <laughs> well, our relationship is more stronger than yours. Nah. Yeah. You married thirteen years. Nah. All that good <laughs> stuff. And hey, man, let me tell you the last thing that burned my booty this week. Uh, so I just went to a little a little appointment, and the elevator. Boom! I hit the button. Man, two two people was next to the guy in the elevator. I just say, okay, y'all can go ahead. Then another mm-hmm. elevator opened, and two elevators opened at the same time. And I got in one, and the little chick got in one with us. That burns my boot. Uh, yeah, you got to move on. You got to go to the other elevator by yourself. This is co- this is purely based on COVID. No, this is pure, right? no, this is based on life. If two elevators life. open, and it's like us three, and then two other people. Them two other people need to go on the other elevator, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you might have your elevator moment. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I, if, if, you know if, what the I'm moment would be? If you press the button that's lower than my floor, I'm irate. <laughs> I don't know, man. Dude, I, 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 the man's I, in I, such I, a I hurry that he can't wait on one floor. No, if you could have got on your own elevator and we both could go directly to the floor we want to go to. So but you want to hop both in those by. elevators were going, both of them were going I'm, up? Both was going up, low, ground flow. I definitely I'm going to put it to you like this. It depends myself. on who it is. If I see, if I'm if I'm Raj Smooth and I don't know Aldo Nice and I see Aldo Nice getting on the elevator, I might, I might. I mean, that man, you know, like, I don't know. Like, I might want to see what y'all got going on tonight. You know, like, what them boys no. out here by myself? What y'all boys I don't, doing? I don't, if I saw, no, I done went on my own elevator. So you just going, you just going to dolo. Like, yeah. like, just no no question about it. What nah, if they no. had, what Look, if they he is, bad? Right now, especially right now, and the day he well, get yeah. on first, you know, two people get on first before me. And it's another elevator. I'm going to that one. Well, yeah, we're not talking I COVID. That we took the COVID. We're taking the COVID I we out took of the COVID it. part. Out well, the COVID out of oh. the COVID in it makes it even weirder of a flex. But take the COVID oh. out of it. I still want to get to my floor. Like I still would not want a person to get in my elevator when they can get in the next elevator. Like why wouldn't we take oh, our nah, own? Man, elevator? I think I, if, it, if if it's not COVID, it's more than enough room, man. You just gotta wait a floor. Can I ask y'all a question? Hope... Would you rather yeah. ride um, Uber um, Uber by yourself or Uber pool? It depends on how that? far I'm going. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uber this is what? elevator pool. That's, what do you mean depend on where you're going, Los? If I'm going real far, I don't want to pay $80 and I can just pay oh, $40. Oh, yeah. Right and, and and like, no. yeah, I get you. Money. Take the COVID out. Take the money out. I'm saying <laughs> if you had a choice, you would I ride, ride by myself. You man. would ride regular elevator yeah. and not elevator pool. I ride elevator pool. It wouldn't, I mean, if it's right there. <laughs> And you don't and, and, and you don't look like you're gonna try to rape me or nothing in there. Y'all boys is right. I still, I still, I still, I still stand on if I know. So like the difference between Uber pool and elevator pool <laughs> is that you're gonna know who you're getting on the elevator with. No, you're not. So you got, why not? Well, I thought you can see him. No, I was just at an appointment him. and I did not know that woman who walked up with that mask and hopped in the elevator. Oh with no, us. I'm not saying no. I'm, I'm saying that you're gonna know who, like you're gonna be still able to see them before you get on the elevator. Oh, okay. Uber pool, you can't see like that. Per- you're not like standing next. They don't tell you and this other person go stand in this little spot. <laughs> it's usually they come and like they pick them up in different parts of the airport or the city. The elevator thing. If I'm just thinking to myself, if I'm somewhere and I'm single and I see four bad things about to get on the elevator and two elevators open up, I might get on the elevator with them bad things. Oh, that's yeah. a whole different on... part. That's a I'm different, getting yeah. in that elevator with them four things. Yeah. Without a doubt. That that's, 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 my whole point was it just depends on who 
It's getting but just like if somebody said Uber pool, me and you getting in the in the ride, Raj, and they let us know, but they picking up these two little things that's going to the same club as y'all. Well, yeah, Clinton. <laughs> y'all, all, yeah. Are they going to the club down the street? Yeah, let's all hop in. Don't get that luxury. Don't get that luxury. Uber pool is what I'm you saying. Don't get that it's impossible for that to happen. If, oh, y'all don't have say, a, you gotta have a premium. You gotta have a premium app. You, if you don't have a premium, it, it'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. Uberpool.com slash OnlyFans. Elevatorpool.com <laughs> slash get on your own elevator, man. Hey, you know what <laughs> you know what's something I like about that um that COVID cut? That wearing that mask in public and being able to just talk my shit. Cutting, I have become <laughs> so bad. And whenever I'm in public and got a mask on, just saying wow shit. Because I feel mm-hmm. like people... <laughs> the thing I feel about like it they know it's coming from me, but it might not you, be coming from me. But you've been saying wow shit. So I know, but I, I, I feel so much more emboldened than Los. <laughs> Los, I was, just in Subway. I was just in Subway and a cop walked in and he was like fidgeting for his mask in his pocket. I said, I say, you all people play boy, huh? <laughs> it's like they that loud know. cut loud you of all people I play boy that's how oh, you coming man. that's how you coming nah, huh nah. Nah, I'll get black man get slain by the police <laughs> in subway right before right coming. before that right before that the dude who was like the chick was making the sandwiches a dude walked out the bathroom black dude and then walked behind the thing and start washing his hands back there say took you a oh. big shit I play boy just like cutting, yeah, I was in that thing. Just, yeah, that, I, no, I think okay, that's cutting. that's fun. You talk about black man slain. Los, the the allure of it is that they don't know who said it. <laughs> nah, they gonna blame if it's, if he the only black person in there. It's definitely his fault. Fair enough. Well, if he not the white people, don't talk like that. Unless they from uh, never mind. I'll be quiet. And you can always kind of look me. look to the left and look to the right. Los, like mm, who said, like, who that? said that shit? <laughs> Come on, man. Blue lives matter a little bit. Nah, just... <laughs> That's funny. I love that. What's I don't know. Raj, you see, Raj, this sounds like something, a game that you would want to participate in. I'm just letting you know. I've been doing it a lot. I mean, the next time I find myself in Houston, in the store with you with a mask on, I'm definitely partaking. That man said he's scared I'm to not, do it in Denver because it's rowdy body. I'm not, oh, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it by myself. I got I to gotta be with somebody that's with the shits. And I don't have nobody in Denver that's with the shits like you are. So, mm. uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm gonna, when in Rome, do as the Roman. Do as the Roman. I get y'all point, man. Listen, man, let's talk about um, when in, when in where? America, when in Bel Air, when in West Philadelphia. We're going to do like Will and Jada do, man. It's time to talk oh, about some man. entanglements. <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago on the podcast, we talked about August Alcina. We talked about it. We, we <clears throat> obviously, if you listen, we said that we 100% believe the story is true. We hundred percent believe he was with her, and then we called him all. We called the Will Smith them a whole bunch of little weird swingers who was taking advantage. So finally, quote unquote, the story comes out on the red table talk. Um, we told you so for one. Los, what were your thoughts on it? Oh, you know me. I was just like, no, what did I say? I forgot. Oh no, I thought I thought he was faking at first, but then I was like, you know, they probably did get out. I mean. Yeah, it really is what it is with that shit. Ain't no telling, man. She wanted that young dick. And the boys are little, you know, he was okay, hurt. So, so I wasn't necessarily mama. asking you what you thought about August Alcina and her. I was asking you more so what you thought about the Red Table Talk. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, you know, Will had already heard the story. He was playing it off like he wasn't really tripping about it. Um, You know, he was trying to, trying to be cool about it because he definitely, really he had to do it. Because she, he was like, well, don't put my shit out there because I'm sure Will done did a whole bunch of shit. Hmm. So he had, to, he had to take that L and sit there and take that. You know what I'm saying? Sort of like Jay had to do with Beyonce, uh, the album she made about him. Hmm. So he sit there and took his L, you know, and without her, you know, expo- exposing him a lot. But she was dropping little stuff. You know what Tell I mean? Me. She was dropping little stuff. So he had to. He had no choice. Raj, like, did you get like, a oh, chance to? Raj, you got a chance to watch I, it? I didn't. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> what I would say by that is this, but I know you've seen all of the memes, right? Um, oh yeah. so the idea of like Will Smith, he just seems so uneasy the whole time. He seemed like, mm. like, you know, in the memes speak to it, like, bitch, if you know her, like you embarrassing me on TV, but he had mm-hmm. to be there. Right. Like yeah. the big part is he had to be there. He had to stand up and support her and be whatever. And the story they told is that they was divorced or broke or separated. And then she was dealing with dude. And mm-hmm. 
you know, whatever. But you could tell by that man's face, he was like, man, like, why you had to deal with the old dude who's going to talk too much, for one? And for two, yeah, nope, nobody really want to hear that when you're in his position. She was going to details? Yeah. Like, he was, he, he, or he had that little nervous, like, he was laughing and yeah. trying to laugh and play it off. But he, you know what I'm saying? But I think he knew. It's just uncomfortable to talk about that in public at that table like that. It's uncomfortable to talk so, about it just with her. Yeah, but I'm saying at the like table if, like if that, him and her were sitting down just talking a regular conversation, and she was like, "Well, I want to tell you about what happened with me in August because I need you to know." That man wouldn't want to sit there for that conversation. No, you, but he, but you can you can deal with it differently. You can get mad and say yeah. some stuff back. Yeah, but when you on at the red table with you me take and the people watching road. on Facebook, nah, you ain't got no choice. You just you don't take no road. You just get in the car and ride. <laughs> you don't know. You don't care where we going. You in the car with her. At this right. Point, the nervous laughter that he was doing was so oh, yeah. awkward. Like he, he hit it with that right, 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 and then you yeah. know, right, 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 right or die. Yeah, family that. together forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever the fuck they said, I was like, oh. yeah. He was. Hurt. I know he got home. Oh yeah, that's uncomfortable. Um, but I mean, I think he knew that stage was uncomfortable to talk about it. In front of everybody like that. When you can't respond like you would normally respond if nobody was there. Well, I mean, two parts of the story that I wanted to touch on, whether you watched it or not, um, that have been, you know, gaining a little bit of momentum. Um, And one, it's the, I mean, what's basically, I'm not going to say two parts of it, just one. It's the gender roles, right? It's the fact that Mm -hmm. a 48-year-old woman was cheating, well, was was having an extramarital affair while they were separated with a 27-year-old dude. And... Everybody's like, well, Jada was just finding herself. It was an entanglement. Um, like, you know, whatever. Like, men do it all the time. Is that like the responses I've been seeing on every bit of social media? And that shit is just so whack. She was finding a she was finding a young nut. You know what I mean? I'm not like, gonna lie. I'm I'm still trying to figure out what is an entanglement. Like, I'm what what does that mean? Explain that to me. She was fucking. <laughs> is that what that's, that's and they got and they got tangled up doing, yeah, she, mean, she, she just she was trying to use a a, a, a sedity word to say a, yeah. a, a, a arrangement or, or a damn um, relationship or a, mm-hmm. like i got caught in this relationship with him or i got caught yeah. in this situation or this situation so she used this mm-hmm. word entanglement to try to sound intelligent and now everybody on the internet's like oh entanglements i'm trying to be in an it's entanglement with you and it's like it's a thing they made it a thing based mm-hmm. on that, Raj. That's all it was. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a word, a fancy word to say affair. I guess, or, in her words. Yeah, it's sex. Yeah. And her, and, I mean, for, for well, Jada you, Pink. You're not really having a affair when you separated, are you? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's a good question, right? I said an extramarital affair, but I think it still is if you're not divorced. But I don't I don't know the facts, though, right? Y'all I mean, tell me. Say, if, I think if you sitting, if we talking about it, and they sitting at the red table talking about it, and it's a thing, then it's an affair. Yeah, you know, like no, I mean, bec- it is what it is. Let's call I, it a spade. It was only a thing because they came out. Because she said she mentioned he was doing his thing too at that time, and that's okay. why they weren't even so, living together. I went to to Urban Dictionary, and as of that day, a romantic sexual relationship between two people, especially one that is outside of marriage, an affair. Um, that's an entanglement, oh, okay. and then it said Jada had an entanglement with Will with August, and it has all <laughs> thirteen hundred up ups and seventeen downs. So. Like that word is now in Urban Dictionary. It wasn't before. That's funny. For J- that's Jada's word. Like, th- th- does she get paid for that? She probably should have started selling the shirts. That. Switch that to something. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry. I cut off y'all those conversations because I think that's a good conversation. My opinion: If you're married and you're separated and you have sex with someone else, that's still an affair. Because okay. I feel like if you're separated, you should be you should either trying to figure out if you're going to be together or not. And I get that people do it all the time. I'm not saying that it's not a thing. I mean, when I'm yeah. in these streets, if a woman like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm married, but I'm separated. It's almost like she's saying it to be like, I could do what I want to do. We good. So, we good. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. So I get it <laughs> from that standpoint. But I still feel like unless y'all said like. Unless y'all not getting back together, I guess is the way to put it, right? Because if they end up not getting back together, then when they were separated, it just meant that they was getting a divorce, and it doesn't feel like. Or in the pro- or in the process of getting yeah, divorced, because some right? states, some states have you had to be separated for a year before you can. I think Absolutely. Louisiana, 
So, if I'm not, so you got to be separated for a year before you can get it. By that token, loss, I think that if you if you separate it and you don't ever get back together, then it's not cheating. But if you separate it and y'all do get back together, then you was cheating. You was cheating. So you got to wait. Yeah, yeah. You got to you got to wait until to, to and see the end result before you can determine. I mean, what that was. I don't know. I guess, Raj, what you think? <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I know I completely agree with you about the about the whole cheating thing. Mm. Uh, I think if I think if you use the word separated, because there's to me there's a difference. Like like not even just like this technical dick um, technical like definition of it. Just how we refer to our significant other in the situation. If I say I'm separated, that's a lot different than saying we're getting a divorce. Mm. Like that's way different. So if you're using the word separated and then you go mess with August Alcina, yes, that is an affair to me. Well, for me, if, of an affair. I look at it like this. If y'all went to the court and filed for separation uh-huh. and y'all signed a paper being legally separated, you know what I mean? Now, if you just That's saying y'all separated right. and y'all- That is a difference. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a difference. So you go file that separation, you got to just kind of give them each other kind of range to go, you know, whatever. We're going to work it out, but let's go play a little bit of something, I guess. I don't know. But that's, I just uh, think, Lose, I, think that's, for, I think that's giving them a I think that's a, a for the bigger question, I think that's a very a very good point. For the Will and Jada, I don't think there's any way on earth they went file for a separation because then people would be all in their yeah, business. We would have known. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, but I also think if you go file for a separation for the sole reason of being able to play around, <laughs> it's silly. Like that's com- that's stupid. Well, I don't think you like, that's that's just, not what that's not what your intent is at first. Cause I feel like if you go file for separation, that's when you're going you're on your way to getting divorced. Because you're going divorce. Because you have to. What you say? You say we're yeah. getting a divorce. Yeah, because that well, just plays you, was, that just plays shit, Los. I feel like it's almost like that could be a sir. I, and I'm just putting another thing on it. If people have an open relationship, like everybody thinks that Will and Jada probably still do have, because this all might be a ruse. Because mm-hmm. both of them might still be out here just sleeping with other people, and that's what they do. Because people been saying Will and Jada been sl- swingers since forever. But my point is, if yeah. they've been doing that, does that count as cheating? Well. I don't know if both parties no. know that it's happening and they're okay with it. Then to me, that's not cheating, right? It's not. So I mean, in, in the cheating. eyes of the Lord, that's a, that's a good anytime point. you right. step before me right. and you say I do in the house of the Lord, the you Lord. are anytime <laughs> you step out of that saint. Bad marriage that you stood before the Lord and gave your vows to. You are then cheating on not only your spouse but God's word. Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. <laughs> I still wow. think they're swingers and her name should be Jada Epstein. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Taking advantage of a little young. That's, 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 a, that's a lot too far. Well, 48 and 27, <laughs> I'm telling you, like we said the last time, we felt like they was taking advantage. Legal age. I think they're taking advantage. I think they're taking advantage of that man. She old, he young. But my question is, like, this was the, the part on the internet. If Will had been the one in an entanglement with a 27-year-old singer when he 48, mm-hmm. what would the public be saying right now at that red table Who talk? to say he wasn't? I'm, I'm, but, I'm not saying he oh, wasn't. No, been, no, 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 no. Oh, they would be killing wasn't. that boy. If Will would have got caught yeah. up. I don't if Will so. would have got caught up. Oh, they'd have been. And she don't jade like that and she found out the girl was broken like she was all sad. They would have been killing that man. He took advantage of that young girl in her time of need. She was just looking for her daddy and he came through with the dick. Yeah, they would have. I think when you, I think <laughs> when we, we talked about it, we talked about gender gender roles in here in this, and I think it's just a different perception. I don't think it's like a crazy age perception, like perception to look at Will being fifty years old and um and him hollering at I don't know Megan The Stallion or whoever. Like you'd be like, oh okay, Will Smith and Megan mm-hmm. The Stallion, like whatever. It wouldn't have been like a big age thing. I don't. So think you that. think the gender role yeah, is what got, plays into if, it? Okay. Definitely. But I think I think, the fact I think that, that like, what, Jada is a woman and August Alcina is a big young dude. Like, yeah, that's 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 a thing. Like, that's I don't know. It's like I, taboo. I, I, I think the age thing though. is because everybody know he was he was kind of depressed and had all them problems. Yeah, I tend to if agree with If he was the dude if was out here, like, broke up little girl. If he yeah. was, yeah, if he was uh, Trey Songs. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Didn't know the background. I yeah, bro, if you get if a if he would have got him a broke up 27 year old, 25 year old little singer, like he went. What's the girl say? She depressed and she yeah, had a problem. the one Whatever who used to date, date with Kyrie Irving. That's the one I was thinking. Yeah, if he had a guy, I think that's her. If he had a guy with her, 
They would have been like, oh, he wrong for that. He just take. Yeah, he would have been. They would have demonized that man. Okay, I got you. I didn't know. I didn't know that that man. You didn't know that. On no, on that same. Her name is her name is Kaylani. The one I was talking to. I think you was talking about. Uh, Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I don't know. She was broke up. I saw. um, (laughs) So HBO Max has Fresh Prince of Bel Air on it. um, Every episode. And so that's kind of what I've just been watching. I started at season one, and it's just background noise. I'm not, like, paying attention to it. But anyway, I, I actually started watching it a little bit today. And there's an episode where um, Queen Latifah was on it, and she was trying to holler at Will. Mm-hmm. And she was, like, older, way older than Will on the show. And so she was like, ah, and she was in the, in the club, like, with him. And she was like, I got me a little se- a sophomore in high school. And so she was like bragging about it. And I was like, man, I feel like Queen Latifah and Will Smith got to be around the same age. That's crazy. And Will Smith is actually a year older than than uh than, than the King. Latifah. And they made her play like a old and like a 30-year-old woman in that show. And Will was a 16-year-old. I thought that was crazy. fucking King. Kind of just along the same line. I thought you was about to bring that back into an entanglement. Yeah, well. Um, the king been entangling a bunch of people for some years, man. But we don't know <laughs> what <laughs> what the preference is of Latifah. <laughs> it's the next level over there. Next level entangling. Um. So the analogy <laughs> un- untangling deal those from a you're, drawer. You're stupid. I was I was talking to Doc earlier, and the uh, and the the analogy that she brought up was that. It's the same thing like female teachers and male teachers. Like if a female teacher get caught cheating with a student or if a male do, teacher do, that society is quick to be like, send that man to jail, like Will Smith in this case would be, versus mm-hmm. Jada Pinkett is like, oh man, she needed, she's she's sick. She needs help. She was just, yeah, she, yeah. You're right. You ain't wrong when you're right about that. Uh, good, good analogy, Doc. I mean, I think it's, I think it's the thing, man. And, um, you know, speaking of, t- of chicks that and a dude that's half her age, man, um, Kyle Kiero, I never heard of him in life. He posted some stuff this week. People are attracted to Jill Scott, question mark, question mark. And by no I'm means sorry. is she ugly, but y'all really sexually aroused by her? And um, <laughs> so it's the same energy. You know what I'm saying? It's, so, I mean, like the whole thing went, it's the same kind of idea because she's, Jill Scott's 48 and this dude's yeah. 25. And, and um, he didn't. He also he didn't see that microphone video either. Yeah, I mean, I guess. But at the end of the day, it, that that was a big story this week because people came for his face for oh, not yeah. being attracted to Jill Scott, and they were saying mm-hmm. that he was fat shaming, and they said that he hated black women, and it was a whole bunch of stuff. He yeah. had to come out and apologize and everything. So, what did y'all think about that so situation? Can't... I mean, what's that's... the origin? Cause did he just wake up like on Sunday morning on Los's birthday and instead yeah. of posting a montage of Los and said, "Y'all really attracted to Jill Scott?" <laughs> exactly. I think I have a problem exactly. with that. That's exactly yeah. what happened. I think he must have. Yeah, that's like I don't know if he was talking about it with his friends or whatever. But he just came out and and came out Nick and they. I'm talking about boy. They when that that boy comments blew up so fast. They was boy. That thread was nuts, bro. I just think he a whole clown for that. That's a legend. Like you, you don't have to talk about like somebody that's. Like she cool, like why you why you have to go there? He don't why like long walks go? though. I heard around the park, <laughs> not after dark. Not after dark. I got you. The, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just yes, you're right. He didn't have to come at a legend, but the other part of it is the part that I immediately thought about was yeah, that man wild for saying that, but it sounded like some somebody would just say to their friends like Jill Scott not fine. Why yeah. y'all think Jill Scott fine? And and then one friend was like, oh, you tripping, boy? Yeah, he should have hey. said it online, but. Yeah. It's not like people don't agree with that thought. So is it, do you yeah. feel like he was fat shaming or being angry, hating black women? Because I think that's ultimately where it goes to. Anytime somebody says something about a black woman, specifically like Jill Scott, it becomes this whole thing about you, y'all don't love black women. Y'all black men don't value don't black women. Hate, I don't think he hate black women. He was just really asking a question that he shouldn't ask with his platform. That's all it was. You got too many five. When you're in the league, you can't ask questions like that when you're in the league. You just talk. You got you to call man, He not in the league. I, I think that man got... He in the league? No. He in the XFL. There is no such thing. Uh, Which is... Well, right he was that. in the XFL. Okay. Well, I, I was still... Okay. And he played for the clown-ass Dallas Which Cowboys. that makes it on brand. Thomas. I know. But. I thought he was still on the, in the league, though. My bad. Yeah. But, uh-huh. yeah. He got too many five to be talking. Man, you just don't say it online like that. 
I don't think he hate black women. He was just asking a question. I think, I think he deserved Los. I think he deserved whatever whatever comes to him yeah. from bl- the black women community. Um, and so if that's the perception, if 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 they have the perception that he's disrespecting black women, then let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Is Beyonce fine? Okay. Is Beyonce fine? Yes. Los unassailable. I agree. Beyonce fine. Great. I Is, agree. Uh, if you had an opportunity to talk to Megan Good, would you take it, Los? Ooh, my God, yes. Raj. Yes. Okay. I'm in agreement comes, on everything. the kicker. I'm in agreement on everything. <laughs> Is Michelle Obama fine? Oh, yeah. Raj. I mean, for her age. Yeah. So, Raj, you don't Ooh, think she's just fine? See. You think, but for her age, she okay? Michelle Obama, nice boy. My question is, if somebody said, I think Michelle Obama nice looking too, right? But if somebody was to say, Michelle Obama not fine, I feel like the whole community of black women would come for your yeah. neck and be like, if you why are you line? slandering Michelle Obama? Or, or, if, or if you say for her age. <laughs> Fuck. If you, what, if a, you black respond, if you a black woman can't age? A black woman can't age? I could, I could yeah. have a... Listen, you I could age have shaming? A Are you age shaming? And Kyle, Kyle Kiero can have a question too. Yo, Kiero Taco Bell. <laughs> he could have a... He could have a a a, a preference, and, and that man could have a type. But why do you have to just wake and up say in the morning and say unprovoked? That? Yeah, you don't have I get to say. It. We when we you know how much why? Well, you know what? They don't even need to know that. I've said wild things before in my life. What? And it'll never make no. Press. I ain't never like, said that wild it'll, before. It'll never, even if I was a celebrity, it will never make headlines. Why make these types of headlines? No. That's stupid. He, but he went. That's you think about he. He wasn't even thinking that he was going to go that far. Yeah, he, he didn't think he was that love. famous. That nigga didn't he was think just he talking was that to, famous. you know, because on Twitter, people you connect with folks, so he's just talking to his little Twitter people, asking a question. And, but the, once the reach, the, what happens is once the people get to retweeting your stuff, or somebody like it, or this, or it's over, it's, it's all, it go, man, get out there quick, boy. Before the day was over, hey, I'm sure he had to, <laughs> he had to erase that thing. He had to go find somebody to, to write his apology. Oh no, real he was nice. he was talking about some. I have to put in the work to use my platform to yeah. do whatever my oh, way. And I'm like, what did you do, oh, yeah. bro? And saying that you didn't, didn't like, like that. Jill Scott. No, I'm saying like yeah. saying you didn't like Jill Scott means yeah. you got to go on an apology tour. I don't yeah. know. I I he should he should he should have simply put my bad. I was just asking the question. My bad. I don't didn't think, mean nothing by it. And people was kind of on his ass because you know that's an old ass. That's a woman old enough to be his mama. That he over there saying yeah. she not mm-hmm. fine. Okay. But if he a real wife, he'd be like, I'm not checking, I'm not sexually I don't checking think, my mama. Like I don't think either. Jill Scott fine. <laughs> but like they said, it's an energy thing. Got it. I, just, I don't think Jill Scott fine either. But I was. I, I, I think I think Jill Scott is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Did you see his rebuttal? Like his final what? tweet? It's kind of funny. It, it actually, he did say. No, that. that's why I wrote down. So it's an energy thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he mm. said, I tried to explain my tweet after realizing how poorly it was worded and conveyed. I didn't grow up on Jill Scott, so it was news to me that she was a sex addict. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, I just tweeted. That's even Stupid. worse than his original it was tweet, best though. best to just delete it and take my L. That's, that's worse than his original oh, tweet. That's funny. It was news to me. That's funny. Like, I was, I was, I was on Sunday years old when I found out everybody thought everybody she was Everybody thought sex. Jill Scott was bad. I, I didn't even know I ain't had a clue. <laughs> I was just I'm just That's out worse. here thinking that, that I thought she, I'm just seeing what I see <laughs> with she my cool, own two eyes I, mean. I, I thought she was underground <laughs> <laughs> Jill Scott are you kidding me that nigga said I thought they was underground <laughs> I didn't What's think she was, it's an thing. I didn't That's think funny. she was a, a mainstream artist like that man but you know That's who um, original tweet. if we had to figure out who knows who all the mainstream artists are and the best place to listen huh. to mainstream and underground artists, I want you to listen to mm. Urban Flosaurus Radio. Now's as good a time as any to check out the good folks at Urban Flosaurus. The big homie Moose Daniels has been supplying a steady stream of independent, underground, and exclusive R&B, hip-hop, and beyond across your airwaves. Pretty much any day of the week, you can catch Mr. Hydrate or Intoxicate on Facebook Live under Urban Flosaurus, spinning some extra soulful or jazzy that'll either take you back to a certain time in your life or make you wonder why you never heard that track before. Go to his link tree at linktree forward slash Urban Flosaurus to find the links for the radio shows, podcasts, and live performances from Moose Harris, and be sure to follow him at Moose underscore Harris on Instagram and Twitter. Man, listen, 
It's so many ways to consume music these days, and Urban Flow Saurus produces content in every which way imaginable. So check them out. Moose Harris of Urban Flow Saurus, a different voice with a show like you've never heard before. Ooh, if you're looking for the Jill Scott of underground or overground, hit up Moose, the biggest cat in the on the bayou. <laughs> the biggest moose Ooh. on the bayou. <laughs> The biggest moose on the bayou. Hey, the biggest. I want to see the biggest moose on the bayou, man. Y'all saw I posted. I was in the. I was ran up on that boy in New Iberia. I bought one of them shirts that got his face on it. Oh, I didn't even see that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's on your page. No, it was on Best Friend Weekend. It was in the. Uh, it was in the. Oh, the on the story. Thing. Yeah, it was a boomerang. He was shaking his shirt. Yeah. Oh. He was shake. He was shaking like that south, jelly like a south shaker. He was right on. He was right on Hopkins Street, downtown New Iberia, man. Um, but you know, if he was on like um, clawing towards downtown, like the equivalent of like Almeda in Houston, and you know what's happening on Almeda? Fifty fifteen is reopening. Hey, hey, let me read this. Hey, let me hey, read this message. Know. It says, "Phase oh, yeah. one of our rebuild of fifty fifteen is complete. We will open, and this was yesterday, with limited seating for our steak mm-hmm. night." To, to go orders for food and frozen drinks are also available. We will be following the CDC state and local guidelines to operate a safe environment for our team members and guests. I would like to thank everyone who have pro, uh, reached out to support. Your words of encouragement kept me smiling when I was having some bad day. Everyone who supported us on GoFundMe, uh, we really appreciate oh, you. All of our neighbors, we really appreciate y'all for understanding. We look forward to safely opening. Seeing you soon. That yeah, happened like a lit. week ago, GoFundMe. right? They blew that hole up? Like... <laughs> yeah. He had a lick with that GoFundMe though, and the insurance check hit quick. I don't know what type of Mexicans he had uh, working for him, building that thing, but they was they was on Red Bulls or something. And he, you know, he hit that lick. They say it's supposed to be nice too. Who is they? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. They say they, it's supposed to be nice. The people who come in under. <laughs> what, what was the? Um... The uh, degrees of separation of that day yeah. that you got. They right. on the, the internet day. I mean, I don't doubt that. Um, they was asking me like, "Who gonna go to that?" And I said, "Who is they? They they gonna go to it." <laughs> they was asking me who gonna go to it, and I said, "They gonna go to it." Them. <laughs> we know them. No. We know them. Yeah, we know them. Listen, we can start calling out them. names of the Dannys and the John Murrays of the world. They gonna go. Yeah. Oh, Todd gonna oh, be yeah. in there. Todd definitely in that thing. John they, Murray might not go now. Yeah, John Murray might not go, but John Murray lived closer to that. Now. It's tough for John Murray to resist that kind of shit. Are we bleeping out John Murray? No, name? no, no, boss man, John Murray. Follow that boy. This podcast brought to you by John Murray. Shout out. I'm Shout saying, out. well, because John Murray would go because John Murray he don't be yeah he, he'll he'll move around he'll move around yeah not right now though but yeah not during normally. COVID but. Yeah. It, he may or may not. He definitely would Because since the lockdown, he didn't want to do some things here or there. I, I didn't see him. Didn't get, oh, get fly and do a couple of things. I'm not trying to out my mans like that, but I mean, it is what it is. No. Some people I can't move around to, a little differently. I can't wait to eat you that text. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what y'all doing? I'm, it's so funny that we ain't got no text like that, Los, in a very long time. Now, man, what y'all yeah. doing? Were y'all watching the fight? Were y'all watching the game? Yeah. Couldn't. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Something speaking on speaking on COVID and speaking on being out in these streets. I asked a question a couple of podcasts ago: is if if you were gonna start to match your mask with your outfit, mm-hmm. and I'm starting to warm up to the idea. It. I don't know how you. I feel it. like if I'm they cool. don't if they don't match, you, it look kind of weird. So I've been going with the straight black mask. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got to but, a, but five, like baby. a good mask. Yeah. Like, or do you just go with just like a? I just found this. At the I don't have bad masks, and I've never worn. Nah, I, go, no, I don't. I don't. I make masks, bro. I got a sewing machine. What you think I'm rocking around with some shitty looking masks? Come on, man. Kitty Claude, boy. Best friend weekend, daddies, man. I got the whole night. Stop. Stop playing with me. Machi. Look at them shining, y'all. Look at them shining, y'all. Achi. Yeah, nah. That man do his thing. Don't, 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 don't give him that ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> Would you I'm looking at some elastic right here on my desk for making masks. Stop it, man. Put your orders in, man. Shout with your boy. Aldo Nice, man. One time, man. Team Nice. Representer. President. Oh. Oh. I just think it's going to get to the point where, um, 
you know, like designers. Or, I mean, it's probably already happening. They've so been doing start that. making masks, and it's gonna be a thing. Like it's gonna be like, ah, uh, like I got this new belt. I got that new Gucci. No, belt absolutely. Big G on absolutely. the front, and it's gonna be like, no, I got this big Gucci mask. Five hundred dollar mask. Carbon dioxide. They uh, don't. They don't stop filter. nothing. <laughs> The Crazy. Silk Daddy. I was on what you call it today. I was on uh, Fashion Over, and I saw they was going for seven ninety nine. A mask per mask and with all these different little designs on it. So I mean, it's a it's a market for. I don't know. Lo, so you with the designer mask daddies or no? Nah, I want I want the real ninety five daddy. I want the one that you can't blow no light out or candle out. <laughs> I don't think a lot of the mask people have. They they not really stopping that. You if you sneeze. Your corona breaths is getting through the mask onto the masses. So I like the real daddy, me personally. Well, Rod, you asked the question. What kind of mask you play? I'll play now, cue up that mask. music for oh. nothing nice to oh. say. You know, they say if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Nothing nice, nice to say, but I'll go nice. I ain't nothing nice. Yeah. So, first of all, I don't have a clue who Viacom CBS is, so I need to look that up. Okay, so I got it. Viacom CBS Incorporated is an American diversified multinational mass media conglomerate formed from the merger of the CBS Corporation and the second incarnation of Viacom in 2019 which were split from the original incarnation of Viacom in 2005. The company's main assets includes the Paramount Pictures Film and Television Studio, the CBS Entertainment Group, consisting of CBS Television Network, television stations, and other CBS-branded assets, domestic networks, consisting of U.S.-based basic and premium-tier cable networks, including MTV, Nickelodeon, BET, Comedy Central, and Showtime, International networks, consisting of international versions of domestic Viacom CBS networks, as well as region-specific networks, the Pluto TV ad, supported television streaming service, and the Simon Schuster book publisher. Okay, I get it. They own a lot of shit when it comes to TV and media. Why they come up? Well, of course. They went out of their way to stop fucking with Nick Cannon. To be exact, they said... We are deeply troubled that Nick has failed to acknowledge or apologize for perpetuating anti-Semitism. And we are terminating our relationship with him now. Wow. We've been canceling people for the last few weeks. Anytime they say something racist or do something racist towards black people. And that's been what's up. But what did I tell y'all last week? Some people would kind of feel left out of the whole situation. And feel like they needed to have the same kind of respect. First, let me tell you what Nick said. On his podcast, Nick said, Black people are the true Hebrews. And talked about anti-Semitic conspiracy theories involving the Rothschild family. He said it was never hate speech. You can't be anti-Semitic when we are the Semitic people. Uh, When we are the same people who they want to be, that's our birthright. We are the true Hebrews. Real hotepi, right? After he said that, Viacom CBS said it condemns bigotry of any kind and categorically denounced all forms of anti-Semitism. We have spoken to Nick Cannon about an episode of his podcast, Cannon's Class on YouTube, which promoted hateful speech and spread anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. While we support ongoing education and dialogue in the fight against bigotry, we are deeply troubled that Nick has failed to acknowledge or apologize for perpetuating anti-Semitism. And we are terminating our relationship with him. We are committed to doing better in our response to incidents of anti-Semitism, racism, and bigotry. Viacom CBS will have further announcement on our efforts to combat hate of all kinds. Nigga, after he said that, he was terminated. That shit is weak sauce. That shit wasn't racist. And to my larger point, I'm going to say this. Let me, let me phrase it the right way. I'm not trying to get fired. Because I honestly don't care enough about Jewish people to get into the weeds about this. So I'm not going to say nothing too controversial. But I've had conversations with folks from the Jewish committee. Matter of fact, me and Ju- uh, Los had a real deep talk with this Jewish dude and a Jewish chick after a Saints game one day. Where he was trying to mm-hmm. compare the Holocaust to the slave trade and telling us that black people didn't have it that bad. I'm 100% sure that those four years of the Holocaust were hell. But I'm sure that our 400, last 400 years of being black been a motherfucker too. It's not comparable. 
And while we're not able to recognize you guys by your last name or in some cases because of your curly hair, you're still white. You're Jewish, but you got all the white privilege you can handle. And we can't pass mm-hmm. for anything but black. So our struggles to this day ain't the same. And I ain't got nothing nice to say about a group of people trying to hijack the movement from black people or trying to put their struggles on par with ours. This ain't the time for that. So I won't say nothing at all. And the only reason I'm there is because we talked about Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson last week. Like the writing was on the wall. We talked about this last week, about mm-hmm. how Jewish individuals and black people, how the struggle of the two and how they try to compare their struggle to ours. And right now is the moment of like black awakening. And they still finding an opportunity to be like, well, you're anti-Semitic. What are y'all thoughts on that, man? Because I'm like, like I said, I'm, I don't like it. I don't like it at all, bro. I didn't, so I didn't hear it. I didn't hear what he said in context. I, uh, I just read it. And, um, and, and I, so I didn't, I didn't see the whole podcast episode, but I'm just trying to, I'm trying to understand, and maybe you can help me, what was like, and what made it, what made it anti-Semitic? When he said they were like, they're, they're more cl- closer to animals than we are because they had to be barbarians or something like that. Like he was, he really compared them almost to animals from what people, uh, when I heard it, he wanted Did Nick say oh, that or did his guest say that? No, he said that. He says, well, he, he was, when he was speaking, he was saying they're closer to animals than we are because the melanin that we have, uh, led us to, what do you say, we, we can maintain or something like that. But with them, they had to live in the mountains somewhere, something about the mountains he was saying, and that they had them, they had to be closer to animals than we are because they had to, they had to be barbaric to survive. Somewhere close to that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I guess if if that's the case, then you gotta, you gotta, uh, yeah, you got. I mean, you Nick Cannon, you gotta watch what you. you gotta I didn't watch, watch the whole thing, man. I'm face palming right now because I never heard, I didn't hear all of that bullshit. Because that sounds like bullshit. Mm-hmm. But you know what it sounds like to me, honestly, I'm just being dead ass. It sounds like a, somebody with a little bit of knowledge, like I talked about before, like Deshaun Jackson. Mm-hmm. Same idea. Those hotel people who like start hearing. Oh well, the black man is the original man, and this is, <sighs> and you know these the white Neanderthals was running in mountains he, doing stuff while yeah, we was he, the he, original he, he, man. He watched the entire thing on with Minister. I mean, he making the, he was making a documentary on damn Doctor Sebi. So I don't yeah. I don't feel like that's not true that he would say some stuff like that. But my point is just I don't know I don't know when Jewish people became a special protected class of white people. Explain that to me. I, I I don't well when 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 they became the class of white people who have they run the majority of the shit. When you when you at the top of stuff and you running stuff like Viacom and you you know you own owning that type of thing, you can let my like hell no, I don't like that. Bye. You know what I mean? When you when you own the majority of this shit around here like that, you know what I'm saying? You could you could talk that you could talk that talk and tell people you don't like that and you can go. You can you can put yourself in that class. And you a being now, you own and stuff like that, and be like, no, I don't like what he said. Oh, he works for us. Get him out of here. So, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, this is something, y'all. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna ask, throw this question out there, more so to our listeners, because I don't know if either one of y'all gonna give me an answer like that, a knowledgeable answer on this. But maybe it surprised me, guys. Jewish. So he called us dumb like, to our face. How? Because I don't know the answer to this, and I feel like y'all might know it, but. Y'all didn't even know why the Indians um, are called Indians. So let's just like... (laughs) Because you was a nerd in school. (laughs) No. Tell me more about how you make math. My question is just... (laughs) That is stupid. Um, Jews. Um, Like, that's a religion, right? Not a race? Or it's a religion and a race? How does that work? Like... I thought they called Jew. I thought that was the people. I know, but it's a religion. Like Jewish. Like Jesus was a Jew. Oh, yeah. I don't think Jews. That's not the religion. I think Jewish is the religion, and uh, man, you got you got a point. Yeah, no, I've of- always that's something. I mean, I remember asking that question a long time ago, like when I was a kid, wondering like Jew, like I, you know, oh, oh, he, okay, so he's Jewish. He's not black. He's not white. He's Jewish, or or hearing you know hearing it in as a religious term. As an adult, I still don't know the answer to so, that question, but it does seem very, like, very much so that it becomes a. Can race I can I can I stop you right there? Can you be Jewish can without I being right a there? Jew? As an educator, when or as like a on the census, 
there's not a button to click that says Jewish, bro. So they click other. As a race. They're not a race. I mean, as a race. They're yeah. not a race. They're like they're like they're white. They're gonna click white on that shit. They're not gonna say, I'm a Jew, I'm not white. They're gonna claim but all of that black white Jew? privilege. You're gonna have to put black. That's my point. So when we start talking okay. about Jewish, like that's white people. That's white people mm -hmm. getting black people fired for talking about that specific group of white people. Their religion, I guess. But are they? I, I see, like, that's the part I don't get. Like, I don't want to be so super naive and super uninformed on Judaism and the things that they've, you know, that Jewish people have went through over the years. I just feel yeah. like... They came out a whole lot better than we did. That part... <laughs> they winning. <laughs> well, I don't know what we fucking like when you talk is. to Jewish people and they talk about oh the Jewish center over there is right. It's it's in La Triomphe, um in in um over there. Just go right past um like a castle. river river ranch um yeah river oaks. It's right down the street there yeah. and with gold ceilings and and that's the Jewish community the over there. That's yeah. our community center. We all get to go. It's like a country club, but we all get to go for free and yeah. you know whatever. So and my uncle you, owns a bank. So I guess to. Re <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. to reiterate yeah. the question what is it like it, it what is it because look i just i'm just i just had to do a quick search I'm real quick and it says it's a religion yes but then again many who identify as jews aren't religious huh. so what what it what is it i mean so you know people, they talk about some weird. ethnicity things like about curly hair maybe you know like that you know quote unquote the, the racist term you've heard jonah hill they call it a jufro right like yeah like so i like that other little dude, Michael Sarah. I don't know if they're Jewish or not, but that certain kind of look of a little curly head on um, white boy with, with the a, with a, on top of that. Yeah, thing. well, not even with that. With a last name like Moskowitz or um. Oh yeah. You know Seinfeld. Joe Johnson. No, Los, not that. <laughs> what did he say, Joe Johnson? Joe Johnson. I don't know what he said, bro. That sounds like an alien name. Not even a. Not a human. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't want to dive. I'm not. I'm not informed. I don't want to dive too far into the whatever. But I guess oh, maybe I need to go like Deshaun Jackson and go to the Holocaust Museum with somebody. Somebody needs to inform me on what a Jew is, like on what Jewish people are, because I guess I only see white people. Like there was this. And super that is a job for our best friend weekend fact checker, Big Chief. Yeah, Big Chief, figure that out for us. I mean, like, I, I listened to this whole podcast, and it was on uh, This American Life. And it was talking about how in the 90s, and this kind of, I didn't even write this down to talk about, but fuck it. Uh, these kids in, like, maybe San Francisco, maybe Oakland. Oakland sounds right. Um, or, yeah, somewhere up Northern Cali. They were in high school, and their teacher took them to the movies to watch Schindler's List when it first came out. And it's mostly black and brown kids. They're in a theater in the middle of the day. The movie had just dropped. Um, if you're not familiar with Schindler's List, it's a movie. Um, uh, I don't remember who directed Steven Spielberg, maybe. I don't know. Um, Liam Nielsen was the star. And like, and it was about the Holocaust and, you know, trying to, trying mm -hmm. to save some Jews, right? And they said the kids was in a the theater, high school kids watching a movie. And then, like, they... Like knocked it, uh, like like maybe shot somebody or something like that, and one of the kids said, "Damn, that's cold," and they all start laughing, and all of the Jewish people like got up out of the movies or whomever it was and went tell the owner, and the owner kicked the whole class out, and like the next you day, know why? and then the He's next Jewish. day, go ahead, yeah, right, <laughs> and then the next day it was all <laughs> over like the the local news, and it got to the point where mm -hmm. it got national news about um. Like this class and how disrespectful these black kids were towards Jews. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, you man. Because everybody who owned the news is Jewish. I, I got you. I got you, Los. I got you. <laughs> but the question is just that when we when when you do stuff like that, there's a history of this between black people and Jewish people that I think that hmm. we might not okay. be talking about on this podcast, but I think that there's a there's a history, right? So the story goes on to talk about how these kids were vilified. These kids had to go out there and they put the kids out there and make apologies to the public about how their actions were this or that. 
Then next thing you know, they like was trying to teach him Jewish stuff. And the kids was like, you know what? We don't learn enough about black history in our school. Why the hell mm-hmm. we need to learn about Jewish history? And it became this big yeah. revolt back and forth. Steven Spielberg ended up going to their school to talk to him. And then he went, talk to him. And then he said, look, I'll be back. And he came back a couple weeks later without the cameras, just him in the classroom with the kids. Like, look, mm-hmm. it's all like Spielberg. I guess he's Jewish too, right? And he's telling this story like he's talking to the kids. Like, I get why y'all saying that. Like, and I want to, I want to make sure that I write a movie to, you know what I'm saying? For you guys to talk about your thing. And I think he did Amistad because if I'm not mistaken, because of that whole incident with, with those kids. So all of that to say, there is a history of, um, of, like of us. And as a matter of fact, he absolutely did Amistad because of that movie, but there's a history of black people and Jewish people. That's just not always a positive relationship and I think that sounds that's, like a, a pissing contest between who had who has the worst that part <laughs> you know what I'm saying was was slavery or the holocaust which one well, the holocaust like like the guy was saying to the game he's like you know I get it but no nah, the holocaust they, they were doing this they were doing that he was like dog 400 years of that shit like yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about you can't. There's nothing you can say. Yeah, y'all. We not, nobody's not saying it wasn't bad. Nobody's not ever saying that. I remember reading a book about that. Uh, the girl to stay in the attic when it was the Holocaust. The I diary of Anne Frank. Look at you. That's why you always gotta have some friends like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, but you know, close we got to uh, was uh, you know, we ain't had no books like that coming up. They where we read on our school list. Roots. You know, nigga. School. Roots. We we didn't read that. They didn't, we didn't read that. Went to a white people's school. Yeah, you're right. No, we didn't read Roots in school. We it's just something that you watched or you, the book was at your house. But oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, oh, ain't no ain't no book watch, about man. Native Son. Maybe well, I don't know what they've tried yeah. to make niggas read. Moby Dick because they like never mind. Yeah, stop it. But yeah, that's, that's a it <laughs> seems like it's a pissing contest between who had it the worst. <laughs> the the book about niggas Animal Farm niggas y'all niggas <laughs> y'all niggas that's what they made us read. <laughs> Didn't uh, what was that? Tom, Tom, not Tom. Huckleberry, Huckleberry Finn. Finn. Huckleberry Finn. Didn't they? Didn't they say a couple of n words? I there? think so. Pretty sure. And nah, it was on y'all summer outsiders. reading list. That boy said outsiders. Pony boy, them. Remember y'all Tommy, so Pony stupid. boy is about <laughs> Dally. Pony boy and Dally. Dally. <laughs> y'all stupid man. <laughs> I would love summer reading list, man. Hey, man, Raj. I just want to say this. Um, uh, so I actually did the thing. So let's talk about this, man. I got to talk about this. I can't let the podcast end without talking about it. Okay. So I wanted them smoke gray ones that came out this weekend. Okay. Long story short, wake up, nine, eight, 850, whatever, 855. This is how the story go. Uh, so I, I turned to Doc. I said, hey, you want them too? She like, yeah, I'm going to get them. So she got the app ready. I got the app ready. Boom, nine o'clock. I'm like, get it. She like, oh, I don't have my credit card information. I'm like, oh, well, you're done. <laughs> I was like, you could try to put it in, nah, <laughs> but you're finished. So I go, I'm waiting, yeah. I'm in line, boom, says sold out on your side. So I hurried up and went to another size because this has happened to me before and I hit. I went to the 12 and a half, boom, nothing. Went to the 13, boom, nothing. All sold out. And then she turns her phone to me and says, what this mean? Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I said, you mother, <laughs> you dirty mother. Okay, anyway. So, now I'm sitting there like, I, I want them now. Fuck it, I want them. So, I go online. I go on StockX. I'm like, let me see how much them boys is. And them boys was hitting for like, I don't know. The lowest price I saw was like 270 mm-hmm. And then I was like, I don't want to come off 270 for them. And I said, you know what? Now's the day for me to sell those those um shattered backboards. So I look at the mm. shattered backboards and they were selling for three ninety eight. So oh. I went over there, I put them up for auction for well not auction, I just took the highest bid that was like three eighty. And I said, okay. And I put them in the mail and sent them off to UPS. Now granted the way StockX works, that three eighty purchase only netted me like three twenty. And oh. the two sixty purchase, um, two seventy purchase ended up being about three ten. 
So I, so I only ended up making, getting it, from both making sides. it from both sides. Yeah, absolutely. Like X, boy. So I ended up Game making a train on you. Right? I ended up making 10 bucks out of the deal and getting the shoes I actually wanted. So that, mm-hmm. that transition's happening. So all of that to say this. Maybe I maybe maybe I can't keep complaining about not getting shoes. I might just have to join it, Raj. I don't want to do it, but I might just need to join the the the, the damn thing of Anytime some Jordans drop, I need to try to buy them. And even if I don't want them, just keep them in the box and at some point sell them and get the ones I really want if I can't get them. That sounds crazy. Yeah. But it's like, is that how it has to be? I'm like, I'm going to tell you. So the biggest, biggest sneakerhead I know is Cody Red. And if a shoe comes out that he wants, because he's only going to play it enough times to take an Instagram picture. Right. And then. Once he done, once people enough people done seen him in a certain shoe, it's gotta go. Mm. Like I like I can't, I can't have, I can't, I can't rock that with all of my outfits. So yeah, if his shoe comes out, let's say an off white. Oh yeah, I always out, try those because it's the big money daddies, though, right? What? Hold on, hold on. Okay, finished. sorry. <laughs> off white one comes out. Yeah, he's gonna try to get them on sneakers, but he's not gonna. Just like when those off white fours come out, we're, none of us are gonna get yeah. those, but we are gonna all try. So he's not gonna get them. He's going to sell four pairs of shoes to get that one pair of shoes. Huh. So mm-hmm. same exact thing you did just on a, of course, a, a little bit of a four pair, four pair of, he's committed to four pair of like dead stock that he just got sitting around that he didn't hit or four pair of like some no, shit he didn't wore. Four pair of shoes that he probably wore once or twice that have no. So then on. who would he sell those to on eBay? Goat. Goat. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know there was an option besides Goat stock eggs. Yeah, so on the Goat app, StockX is like all new. Yeah. On the Goat app, you could buy new or used. Okay. 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 I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. No, that's it. That's all I got. People play that game. Like that—that that is a known game to play. Is you just buy, you just buy it up, and then whenever something else come out, you just sell those shoes to get the one you want hmm. to make it a little bit more palatable. So yeah, a shoe might cost two thousand. But you might have you might have you might have came up on a couple of shoes that you know you can get, you know, three hundred a piece. So you so you got four of them. So now you're paying eight hundred. And I don't know. I whatever. get your point. I don't, my math might be off, but you're just paying. Those shattered backboards yeah. was like four hundred that I had, and if I'd have got like three pairs of them, then I could have got twelve hundred off them three pairs, and then turned around and got twelve hundred towards those um, union ones that I want. Those LA union. That's what they call unions. Um, I I don't know what they're. I don't know. I'm not sure. You know what I'm talking about, though. <clears throat> I do. I know exactly the ones with like top, red on the top. Yeah, I mean it's got like the the gray. It's like a weird. Yeah, the red um thing. It's the hot retro one high Union Los Angeles, the black toe or the blue toe. I like. I was talking about the no. the the black toe is the one I really like, but the blue toe is nasty too. Them things is stupid. They are at StockX for like twenty one hundred so- right now. So, no, let me tell you. Let me tell you the 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 latest shoe flex. So they had the Jordan Dior ones. That yeah, 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 yeah. I'm that. pretty sure about those. Yeah. So r- retail, retail. Those was at two thousand yeah, dollars, yeah. and I was like, hell no, I would never spend two thousand dollars on a pair of shoes. But <laughs> those shoes right now, the highest bid is thirteen thousand. Yeah, I knew it was stupid, That's so I feel crazy. stupid for not trying. Yeah, you to had to try shoes. to get them. You had to try. I to mean. Get them. I wasn't gonna. You, you, the only way you can get them is at like a, D, a certain Dior stores, yeah. which there's none around me. But nonetheless, I didn't even have the idea of trying to get those. Like I saw Lala had them good. on her, like on her on her thing. Like got it, want them, got them, and she had a, she had them. I was like, <laughs> I hate you. I hate the fact that you got them Dior shoes. I'm just waiting for her booty to start matching her legs. You're it's stupid. Crazy right now. A bug's life. <laughs> I like that little movie. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid hey man listen we about to get up out of here man we get the people what they want there all the time but um coming up real soon we're gonna have if it's not already out by the time this pod drop we're gonna talk about going back to school and uh woke part four back to school and uh during this covid if this is a good idea we already got we got strong opinions we want to get a couple mm-hmm. of educators in here who who are in the trenches and we're gonna have this is gonna be probably a youtube exclusive so be on the lookout for that real soon uh, from the Best Friend Weekend Podcast Network coming up real soon. But, uh, you know, other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like last week, we didn't do nothing. We're going fishing this weekend for Lowe's birthday because Lowe's been out of, out, out of commission. So 
That I don't know what y'all doing with y'all weekend, but whatever. I was going to fifty one fifty. But stop. Nah. Ratchet. <laughs> And ain't not social distance. Give me a hand clap. Give me a hand clap. Come hey, man. Hand. <laughs> I don't. I don't care what you're doing. You have a great weekend. Bow. Make Bow. it a best friend weekend.